What are some of the things that you think as B2B marketers, we should be removing from our process or strategy based on like this shift that we're all experiencing? Yeah, you know, I think a, an interesting uh, thing that I'm still c- trying to come to terms with, you know, I think about it all the time. I, I have already said perspective uh, customer, and I, at least I've changed my 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 uh, vocabulary to stay away from prospect. Nobody likes to be a prospect. You know, when I'm at work, I, t- I think about prospects all the time. But as a consumer or as a customer, I don't want to be thought of as a prospect. That already is a, a bad you know, connotation, right? Um, and so, you know, I've said prospective customer, but really what they are is future customers. You know, so when do we start thinking about people as their as our future uh, customer? And we and since we have ushered in this, you know, we we have this. We have a, a rev tech stack that is incredible, right? You know, there are so many wonderful, powerful tools, but we tend to apply them to a, a customer buying journey that is, you know, five years old or eight years old or 10 years old. It's not a, a, a digital first buying journey. It's not sometimes a digitally complete buying journey. We kind of fit into our thing. It's like, you know, pop onto our website and, hey, you want a demo? You know, it's like, well, I don't want a demo. Uh, remember, this is a decidedly digital first buying journey. This is the first time they've been there. It's like, I don't want a demo. First things first, what do you do? You know, it's like, okay, well, here's a, here's a paragraph. You want a demo? So, well, okay, you know, that it may have been a really good paragraph, but I don't think I want a demo quite yet. Oh, we, then will you please scroll down one more paragraph? Oh, you want a demo? You know, it's like, well, we'll back up a sec, you know, but, you know, those are, those are our best practices. You cannot find a web designer out there and say, hey, man, you got to have a, you have to have a request demo CTA on every page. I mean, that's like, that's a, a, an every, that's, that's like in the book of things to do, right? Uh, but, you know, how do we, how do we usher people into uh, that we want people to, to request demos, of course, but, you know, how do you educate them? How do you, you know, give them the content that way they want? You know, do they have questions? You know, how, how can we feed them, answer those questions for them in a really kind of like non-threatening way? Uh, you know, the, you know, think about you as a, as a buyer. Um, you know, I think a frustrating experience can be, you know, a B2B buyer typically has bought a lot of different solutions in the past. Uh, And the first people that they interact with are uh, sales development reps who have never bought a piece of technology for a business in their lives, right? And this is a disconnect there uh, already. Uh, But, you know, how many times do you self-select out as a buyer uh, of a process just because you don't want to be involved in that process? And I'm looking right at those form fills on websites, right? You know, it's like, I really want this piece of content. Oh, now I got to fill out a form. So I know what's going to happen next. I know that my, my phone's going to ring just a couple of minutes. And I don't, I don't even want to deal with it. So you go on. So, you know, think about those abandoned carts is really what they are, right? You know, just be the same thing as rolling into Target, begin to start taking things off the shelf, putting your cart, your shopping cart, and realize, yeah, you know, I, I don't like what's going on here. I'll just leave my cart. Couple I of love examples. it. Yeah, no, I, I, I love it. And I love the, uh, I've never thought the, about the fact that you know, I am always like SDRs are just doing their job, but you're right. Most of them have never purchased software before. And I it's just, not I, on, it's not a slam on SDRs, right? But I mean, totally. there's, a, there's an immediate disconnect right away. You know, the SDR is evaluated on, let's get a meeting for the AE, right? You know, it's like, well, that's how they're rewarded. Uh, that's mm-hmm. how, that's how they're paid uh, in, in part case. But, you know, is that the next best step for your customer? Uh, you know, and, uh, and many times it's, it can be something, you know, completely different. Right. Uh, so, uh, you know, when do we start as, as B2B marketers and sellers thinking about, you know, how do we reward our SDRs on what's best for the customer? Right. Uh, you know, I, I love this idea of this, you know, you know, CSAT score for your prospective customers that come in. We don't, we don't score customer satisfaction for uh, prospective customers. We do it for customers, but wouldn't it be kind of cool if uh, you began to look at what your C stat is uh, ver- with all these digital touch points that you have? And then once you get into you know, human, human engagement as well. 